Hi, this is Doug Gould of Worship MD, and today we're going to talk about uh, minimizing your stage volume. If you're like uh, most of the churches that I'm in, the stage is so loud I can't even turn my PA on. If that sounds like you, I've got a couple of helpful tips that might help uh, over the next uh, couple of videos. The first thing I'm going to recommend to you is to actually turn their monitors off. <laughs> Just shut them off. Let the rhythm section be on the stage. Let them play a little bit five minutes you might have to deceive them you might say hey I'm working on something back here you're not gonna have your monitors you just play for a few minutes for me and when they're done playing you might ask the question what couldn't you guys hear and uh, they'll say well Doug <laughs> we didn't have any monitors and I'll say I know but what couldn't you hear uh, your worship leader who's standing three feet in front of the kick drum and every time the kick drum hits I see his pant legs flare out like this can you hear the kick drum of course he can can you hear the Marshall stack but there might be some things that they can't hear. So if they can't hear something, move them closer to it if possible. It's not like your feet are stuck in concrete. You can move around. And if something's too loud and burning your ears off, try to move away from it. Move some things around and do the exercise again. I think most of the time our worship teams are so dependent on the monitor that they don't hear the room at all. And if they hear anybody next to them in the band, What's the usual response? Turn me up. I need more me in the monitor. We want to get away from that. We want to have things in the monitor that are necessary that they can't hear acoustically. That's the rule. If you can't hear it acoustically, that's what I need to put in the monitor. Not things that are right behind me making my pant legs flare out. Um, so try that little exercise, and I think what it'll do is it'll help the musicians to get more of the room back which actually can give them a lot of that low frequency response that musicians need to play in time together. And we don't want the monitor to have to do that. We want the room to supply that and what's on the stage to supply that. So until next time, Doug Gould, over and out.